everybody, it's Vance from FishingWithVance.com and tonight, tonight's episode, I'm going to be fishing off the shore. Uh, I came after work today and I am going to try to fish right up by the dock. You would have seen if you watched uh, High Life and I just do our most recent video of a lot of fish pushed up to the dock area. So I thought I'd come after work tonight and uh, try a few different things. Uh, I forgot my Balmeray. When we were here this past weekend, here comes a fisherman going by. And, um, and, uh, but I didn't bring my bomber but this is my favorite jerk bait. So I'm going to try to throw this at the dog once these guys clear out of here. He's going to back down, and, uh, him and his kids were kayak fishing. So I am, uh, I'm going to try the bomber A. So let's see which can catch the most. I'm going to try out with a bomber A. And then I brought two ultralights with me tonight just for fun. I'm only going to fish for about an hour. It's almost about 8 o'clock now. And I am going to fish probably till 9, 9, 15, whenever it gets dark. It's a beautiful evening. I didn't want to just sit home. I thought I'd catch a few bass. So, anyway, on the ultralight here, I have the uh, tried and true KVD Perfect Classic. But this is a watermelon fleck, which I'm a big fan of. Again, it's on my ultralight. I have two ultralights paired up identical. One, one's my son's. Thanks, Cotter, for letting me use it. Um, and I'm going to actually throw his favorite lure, which is a little inline spinner. He loves these for smallies. And I am going to throw those. Throw that and um, see if I can't catch a few fish down off the bank tonight. So thanks for joining me. I'll keep you updated as I hopefully catch a few bass before the sun goes all the way down. But thanks for joining me today on FishingWithVance.com. All right, guys, coming back to you. I'm going to start out with Catter Spinner here. I already see activity of them pushing these bait fish up. And I'm going to see if I can't catch one on the inline spinner. So let's see how this goes. This ought to be interesting. There's some weeds in here, but not a ton of them. So I should be okay. And uh, yeah, I caught some weeds. That's okay. Let's give this another. Probably threw out a little too far that time. I need to stay closer to the shore. Let me come down this way. Alright guys, I gave this about 20-25 casts. I got one little bump, but that's it. So, let's give this one last cast and then I'll try something else. I'm, I'm still getting into some weeds, even though the weeds are are way down compared to what they were here earlier in the spring but still still some weed action here so oh, got to put the bomb ray down too about 20 25 casts at that nothing so now we're back to a watermelon fleck worm on an ultralight. Let me see if this will bail me out. Right now I have no fish. One tiny little bump. But uh, let's see if the old 
if the watermelon fleck worm can bail me out here. Um, I could probably throw it to areas that I can't throw the spinner and um, and the bomb ray. And of course, I have a hit already. First cast on the watermelon fleck. So, hmm. I'll tell you guys, you gotta go with, sometimes you gotta go with what works. And there's a little bass on the watermelon fleck worm. So, no skunk. KVD Perfect Plastics saves me again. That's one. But let's keep going because the sun just dropped below there. Hopefully some of his big brothers are going to be rolling in here. So let's see what happens. Alright guys, I just caught that bass. I'm going to give this a shot. I'm gonna see if anybody's home down there by the wagon wheel. You can see how high the water is. Um, usually guys sit on that wagon wheel and fish. So, you can see how high it is. There's another hit already, but I think it's a bluegill. But, uh, it's crazy the amount of water we've had here in Pennsylvania. It really is. And uh, I know it's just not just Pennsylvania. It's been all over the place. But uh, it's just insane how high, how much extra water we've gotten. So there's another hit on this bait right away. This is a good one too. Yep. Wow. Let me see how I bring him around this. Oh yeah. Fun stuff, man. This ultralight. It it uh, is fun to catch these bass on. This guy's going down. Wait, this is a pretty nice one. On ultralight, he feels like a hog. Oh, that's fun. That is fun. So, bomber A, zero. Spinner, zero two casts or three casts with this watermelon fleck two fish I don't know man I I always try to throw different things and uh, yeah I was hitting on movement like crazy this past weekend uh, with high life but uh, it's tough to it's tough to beat this watermelon fleck or purple worm or whatever you want this guy's seen better days let's see if I can't catch one more Um, on this watermelon fleck here. Had the fun challenge of bringing them in uh, around that bench, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, it's a beautiful night. I'm getting lit up by mosquitoes. I don't feel like putting on any uh, bug spray. You guys that follow us know that uh, that we usually, when we're carp fishing, we usually set up all along that bank right there. And uh, it's completely underwater, as you can see. Um, so the lake's probably a good two feet above what it normally is, I would say. Um, at least two feet. But all this uh, rain every other day I mean that's uh, a lot of people are dealing with all kind of issues see that activity down there let's see if they want some watermelon fleck I want to make a good cast on it let's see how it goes oh, he's hanging out down there ah, that's bad cast real bad Bring that back in, see if I can't. 
if I can't put it next to that. There we go. That's that's where I wanted it. Yep. Somebody tugged it right away. You know it. There he is. <laughs> he was up there. Oh yeah. Get him out of there. Get out of there, buddy. Get out of there. Don't do it to me. <laughs> nice try, little man. I saw you feeding up there. I saw you. <laughs> That's a nice try there, dude. <laughs> Fun stuff. Ultralight with the KVD. Um, fat baby fin uh, this is a fat baby finesse worm this one's seen better days so I'm gonna put a fresh one on I'll put another one on and come back to it hopefully some more fish that's three three fish on this uh, watermelon fleck fat baby finesse good good stuff fishingwithvance.com all right guys grab the fresh worm let me show you what I'm doing here I just have uh, I think I have like six pound test on this mono to a barrel swivel to a um, fluorocarbon leader and with two little tiny split shots I'm a, I tend to fish mojo rather than Texas and here's a fat baby fresh five and a half inch fat baby finesse I'm just gonna come through the top take it right back out this is a Gamagatsu um, 584 uh, I believe it's the 09 so it's this little smaller version of the wide gap I think it's a one aught so small stuff I probably was using this for a little bit of trout fishing but so that's why it has sorry about the camera that's why it has the smaller stuff on it but who cares it's a lot of fun let's see if we can get another one Past weekend, I life and I were thrown all up against this what used to be the dock area and uh, catching all kind of fish. Uh, you probably already saw that video, but let me see if I can't scare one up down here. Nope, I'm gonna try to get a little closer to the a little closer under right underneath that tree. I probably throw it right in the tree, but. Hope I don't. Uh, I want to get a little closer to to the bank. Try to throw a few out. Maybe the bigger fish are out there. Getting ready to push these guys in, and maybe I can hook into a little bigger one here. Oh, it's a good cast there, guys. Hope it rewarded with a fish down there. beautiful night still very warm it's the middle 80s here in PA All right. nobody home there let's see if anybody's back down here again guys another one on this little watermelon black I mean this guy's he's barely he's barely big enough to take a bite of that worm but hey he's an aggressive little dude go grow up huh but that's uh I believe that's four fish on the watermelon black zero on the others so it's uh it's one of those things 
it's funny you know we were fishing here yesterday as a matter of fact and we were catching them on all movement all all the time uh high life on a popper which you hopefully you've seen that video if you haven't go check it out and me throwing a square bill and a lipless um really anything with movement a fluke uh, we modified a fluke and put a nail in it to give it weight so that it would you know give it more diving action but uh you know we caught you know a bunch of fish on that just yesterday so here i am back fishing this trying to fish some movement with the other the other uh two poles and didn't get a single bite uh and now put this worm on and i think i've caught three or four uh granted nothing of size but i don't care like i said i'm using an ultralight so they all feel great and uh not bad for coming after work quick trip um it's a beautiful day i want to make take advantage of as many of these summer days as possible there goes my alarm system at home but uh you know a little bank fishing after work feels good might come tomorrow night too try a different another different bait who knows but uh, I'm not done yet. I'm going to stay probably another 15 minutes or so. Maybe I'll throw uh, the albino fluke on here and see if I can scare one up with the old albino fluke. Um, Fishmanvance.com. It's a little better fish here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get in here, buddy. Easy, partner. Easy. Guy. Easy buddy, I'll let you go. Settle down. Now this little this guy a little better size to him. Gotta love it. A little night bite action. On a watermelon fleck, that's uh four or five now on a watermelon fleck. Good stuff. See you buddy.